I'm excited. If you're just tuning in, you get 15% off of everything I'm sharing now until 1030. I'm here every week. We always have fun. Okay. But this product is like, I'm really excited to share this. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not, a, I'm not perfect at this for sure. I did watch the tutorial they had on their Instagram. It was so, so helpful. So I'm going to share all those tips um, with you guys. But this is this, the Pseudo Labs freckles fake freckles so this is the freckles kit in shade zero two so there's three different shades there's like a lighter shade if you're more pale darker shade if you have a more darker skin tone so first of all when i unboxed this i was like this is so bougie because it comes in this gorgeous faux leather case and when you open it there's this little slot in the top which the little like toothpick sticks in and then this part just sticks in here so you're never going to lose this toothpick like if the toothpick just came on the side that thing would be lost in one minute for me but you're never going to lose it because it comes in this little fancy case which I love okay so what you do take the toothpick you take the freckles out okay so the first thing the woman in the tutorial said that I'm going to share she was the founder so she knows what's up but you really got to shake it because the different like formula, the formula separates is what she said. So first things first, you have to shake it. And the area we're going to center the freckles, the fake freckles, we're going to center them right here. Cause if you think about it, like you can see, I have a few natural freckles here, not as much as I would like, which is why I would love, I'm excited to share this product and like excited to be trying it out. Um, but we're going to center our freckles where the sun is naturally hitting, which is right here. So first things first, you take it off and you're going to wipe some of that excess product off because we don't need all this product. Welcome everyone who's just joining, who's just coming back. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to hold it like this. We're going to hold it in about an inch from our face. And we're gonna take this little toothpick. I'm really getting up close and personal here. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna take this little toothpick and we're just gonna kinda, I'm gonna shut my one eye. Just gonna kinda like slowly go down. Okay, so then you see there's the freckles. Then what you do is you take your finger and you pat them in. Isn't that cool? It's so cool to me. What I'm gonna do on this side. I just go down really slow and super light. Okay, so here we go. And you see they kind of disappear. What she said was essential is we want to do layers of this. So I'm going to go back again. Just really slowly. Oh, really slowly adding to that center area of my face. Okay. Oh, I got it. See, I got a big smudge on my nose, but the good thing about this is you have a minute or two until they dry. So you can kind of go like this and pat them out and get a much more natural, like, look. So sometimes, you know, I just said, I'm a little bit new with this. I've just been trying this out for a few weeks. Um, but look how cute that looks. It's liquid, very liquidy. So Definitely be a little bit careful your first two times trying it out. Um, but you can also, like, it just looks so cute when you're in person and stuff and in, in selfies. So I'm going to do a little more. This is my third layer now. Okay. How does it compare to Freck? That's a great question. I think this is so much better than Freck because it's so much more natural because you have that splattered effect and Freck, you have to like really paint them on. So I just feel like this one is so much more natural and I follow so many people who've been promoting Freck, but all these YouTubers I follow have also started to promote this. But if you do want to get that painted on look, you can take the little Q-tip and kind of like add some more defined freckles. So 
There we go. We're adding a little more. I can rub out that little smudge. You can rub this out with a beauty blender too, but like, look how cute that is. So this is the type of makeup product that I, and look, that went right over my powder, like so nicely. This is the type of makeup product that I just, like, I was like, I didn't even know I needed this until I had it. And then I was like, this is essential. It's so cute. And then right when you're done, like how cute and summery are these little freckles without the sun damage too. Amazing. And you can see them. I think this live streaming does blur my face a little, which I'm not complaining about because it makes me look good every week. But in person, like I'm looking in the mirror behind my phone right now. Um, you can see them much more. They're so cute. I feel like um, like Pippi Longstocking, is that the girl I'm thinking of? Um, or like the cute little Wendy cartoon girl with the little red braids, with the cute freckles. Like I feel like a cute cartoon character, a cute like a cute little character from one of my books I read when I was little. But yeah, and these are just removed with makeup remover like all your other makeup, they just add that little extra oomph. No one would ever know these are makeup. You don't need sun damage. And it's amazing. So cute. So this is like, this is the type of makeup where it's an accessory. Like you're adding this, like you would a, a fun eyeshadow or like a fun lip. So cute. Um, yeah, let me think of some product facts. Three shades, I already said that. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I think I covered everything. It's all about slowly adding and layering, using a little bit at a time. Don't use too much. That's what I did the first time. And I was like, what did I just do? It's all about tiny little strokes with the toothpick right here. And then you just pat it out all over your face. And it looks so cute. I'm obsessed, but we're almost out of time. So I got to move on to the last product, which this